guys, I have a butterfly knife tutorial for you. It's called the Y2K. Uh, here's what it looks like. Again. Alright, it's really simple. You're going to start out holding the bite, um, bite handle. And you're going to make this kind of motion. Alright, what you're going to do, you're going to go down with it. Um, and if you do it fast enough or with enough force, gravity should have it roll over your thumb. I don't know if you saw that. Hold on. Hopefully I can get this in this angle. Yeah, I caught it wrong, but I'm in a weird angle. But anyway, gravity should have it roll over your thumb. And the safe side of the blade is going to be coming down on your knuckles. So you're going to want to go like that and catch it. Now, the bite, the bite side of the blade or the sharp side is going to be facing you. So, you know, watch out for that when you're going to close it. Um, again, here's what it looks like. Um, to close it, you know, there's many different ways you can close it. Basically, all your basic closings you can do. Um, if you want to do a nice, fancy way to close it, you're going to want to bring it down, have the bite side of the blade facing outwards, and you're going to just... It's really simple. Basically, to do that, um, you're just going to... You're going to have it bounce like this twice, and you're going to twist it and bring it back up, or to close it, same thing. Um, some things to watch out for when you're doing this. When I first started learning this trick, um, I actually missed when I was when I was doing the roll. I missed catching this and I caught the blade in between my fingers. Um, that was, you know, not pretty. Um, so I would recommend taping the blade when you're first learning this. Um, the heavier the ballet song or the butterfly knife you have, the easier this trick is going to be because you have more weight to deal means not only is it going a little slower, you have more momentum, at, you know, most cases. The lighter the butterfly knife, like a Benchmade 32, which this is, or a Spiderfly, you might have to work on catching the handles a little bit more, because of course it's going to be going faster, and you know, you're not going to want to miss the handles, or you're going to drop it on your foot, or cut it in between your fingers like I did, so just watch out for that. Um, tape up the blade when you're first starting to do this trick and experiment with different ways that you can close it again let me show you real quick what to do downwards motion fling it down gravity should bring it up catch you're gonna wanna fling down back up and do remember that the uh, sharp side of the blade is facing you alright so watch out for that when you're closing so thanks for watching and please subscribe